Welcome to Self Hosted Pro. Today we're going to be going over installing Plex. We're just going to be doing a quick install of the Linux server.io Docker container using the Open Media Vault setup that we've been using so far in this tutorial series. So we'll go ahead and get started. We're just going to hop into Open Media Vault. And you can see we already created these earlier when we first installed Open Media Vault, but if you haven't, you'll need to do that now. It's really easy. You're just going to do movies tv and files make sure you have all of those set up and then we can hop over into portainer and get started with the deployment all right so here we are in portainer we can just go hop into our containers we see so far we have nginx proxy manager and portainer which is all we had set up uh, in the last video so we'll go ahead and we'll click on add container and we'll call it plex the image is going to be Linux server slash Plex. And then we're not going to forward any ports to this right now because we're going to be using the host uh, network driver instead of bridge like we've been doing in the past. So we'll come down to network and we're just going to change this from bridge to host. So that way all of our ports will be forwarded as if this was a separate host. To get the path that we're going to be using for our shared folders, go back and watch my portainer setup video. And you can find it in Open Media Vault pretty easily. Uh, so you're going to create three bind volumes. And the first one is going to be mounted to slash TV. We're going to mount that to our uh, TV shared folder here. Uh, just so you know, it's slash SRV slash dev dash dash disk dash by dash label dash media slash TV. We're going to mount slash movies to the same path, except for instead of TV, it's going to be movies. And for the last one, we're going to mount slash config to our file shared folder under the app data subdirectory a new folder called Plex. And then we're gonna hop over into environment and we're gonna add a couple of environment variables here. We're gonna do PGID, which is typically gonna be 100 if this is the original user that you created in Open Media Vault that you're using. We're gonna do PUID, which is gonna be 1000. And we're going to do TZ, which is our time zone. And then hop over into restart policy, check unless stopped, and then click on deploy container, and we should be ready to go. So here's the Plex web interface you get here by going to the IP address of your Open Media Vault server on port 32400. Make sure you add a slash web to the end, and you'll be redirected to uh, app.plex.tv slash auth. And here you're going to put in your login. And what that's going to do is it's going to claim your server for your Plex.tv account. Click got it. You can just click X on Plex Pass. We're going to call this Plex.streambands.live. And make sure you have this allow me to access media outside my home checked. And we're going to go ahead and click on Add Libraries. And we're going to do a movie library. And that folder we're going to browse for can be slash movie add. And then you can change any of the settings on here that you want. These are all mostly personal preferences. And then you're going to click on Add Library. And then we're going to click Add Library again. We're going to do TV shows. And we are going to browse to the TV folder and click on Add. And once again, you can come into Advanced and change any of the settings in here that you want. And then you'll click Add Library. And then you'll hit Next. We're not going to get any Plex apps. And we're going to click on Done. And now we have our Plex web interface all set up. I don't have any content, so it's going to be pretty barren. But you can come up here into Settings. 
and you're going to go down into remote access and you're going to make sure that you have port 32400 forwarded if you want to forward a different port you can specify it here and then you should be good to go and able to access flex from anywhere now this is just a basic setup we'll get a little bit more in depth in later videos regarding settings and things like that uh, but for right now if you want to manually add movies you can upload them to your shared folder in the tv or movies section sorry there wasn't a video on monday i got a little bit busy with a lot of stuff going on at work but i'll have a really great video coming out on a tool that i think a lot of you guys would like to use on monday so stay tuned for them Thank you.